Hello, hello, so we've got the One Piece 1127 spoilers, and this chapter's actually been hyped up to be one of the best chapters of One Piece so far, and after reading it, I have to say, you know, be prepared to be underwhelmed. I upload videos on manga spoilers and chapter reviews multiple times a week, so if that sounds like something you enjoy, consider liking and subscribing. Even if you don't enjoy my content, like and subscribe anyway. Sometimes you have to expose yourself to things you don't like to understand why you don't actually like them. By watching my content, you could grow in ways you've never even anticipated. You'll definitely learn patience, because I bet a lot of you are thinking right now, just fucking get on with the fucking spoilers, you fucking fuck. Which is fair enough, because all I've been doing at the start of this video is stalling for time. So I guess congratulations for making it this far, and yeah, let's get straight into the chapter now. The cover page has Yamato meeting up with Inurashi. The chapter begins where the last one left off with Nami waking up in a strange place. Nami finds herself inside a massive castle built entirely out of Lego pieces. Even the plants are made out of Lego. The entire castle is located in Elbaf. So it's nice to know they actually just got straight to Elbaf and that this isn't just some little side adventure to waste time. However, some straw hats like Robin and Frankie are still on the Elbaf ship and they're not gonna get to Elbaf at the same time as the other straw hats that are already there. So we don't know if this castle is a power or just a place, but we can assume Oda used it as a tool to split up the straw hats again. And we can assume these straw hats ended up in this castle because someone else wanted it to happen. Nami, while exploring the castle by herself, then runs into giant insects and starts getting attacked by them. Nami, being unable to beat them by herself, begins to run away from them. So we can go ahead and assume that's going to be Elbaf's whole thing, everything on the island is going to be giant. Which makes sense and I guess was pretty predictable. As Nami is running away from the giant insects, she sees Usopp being attacked by a giant cat. Nami managed to get away from the insects, so she tries to fight the cat with Usopp. Usopp. But before either of them can land a hit on the cat, it sends Usopp flying with a giant swipe. Nami then runs over to Usopp to try and help him. Suddenly though, like the Sulong on a full moon, the cat then transforms into a giant lion and begins charging at Nami and Usopp. Just as things seem dire, Luffy, Zoro and Sanji arrive and take down the giant lion with a coordinated combo attack. So we finally have the monster trio back together all doing an attack at the same time. Which is pretty cool to see and like usual they're saving Nami and Usopp. The chapter then ends with Luffy, Zoro, Nami, Usopp and Sanji reunited all wearing viking outfits and ready to leave the Lego castle. So it looks like they've split the group up and half the Straw Hats are already on Elbaf ready to begin their adventure in their new outfit. Thank you so much for watching and remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. I'll do a video on the full chapter spoilers as soon as the leaks have been released. So you know, be on the lookout for that. I don't know how to end a video. Goodbye.